Playing the Ultimate Iron Man so far made me realize just how important having a bank is. Therefore, it is time to focus on unlocking the UIM version of a bank, which is actually a bunch of different storage features in the game. But mainly it's the house and construction related things like hidey holes. I need to improve the wardrobe room in my house and hidey holes so I can store a lot of important gear. Otherwise, I'll have no space in my inventory to do things like skilling or every specific long grinds I have to do along the way. So today's episode is all about unlocking some reliable money makers so I can work on training construction because it is a very expensive skill, especially early on. Anyways, you'll find out more about it in today's episode. There's so much unique progress made in today's episode, jam-packed with content. So sit back and enjoy. It's time to work on freaking already easy diary for that sexy ass already cloak. Damn, this axe is... Uh, Oh, I got it. Yay. Okay, cool. Nice. Uh, just prepping some stuff for training here. Got steel axe, steel pickaxe. All right, we got everything we also need for the RD Diaries too. So we're just going to do a bunch of random stuff in between. Oh, first ever casket. There we go. It was totally dog shit. <laughs> I can already use the Nightmare Zone minigame telly. That's going to come in so clutch. Nice. First quest done. Now I have to do biohazard. Alright. There we go. All the quests done. Is that everything? Oh yeah, that's right. The thing popped up, so we're good. Yes. Green the easy. Let's go. Don't want to carry this all day long, so put this on Jody. But yeah, nice. Already cloak unlocked. Infinite tellies to the western part of the usual landmass, so. Because uh, I also need 31 crafting for Lost City. We are going to try to unlock fairy rings next. There we go. Beautiful. All right, next is Missilin Mysteries. Nice. There we go. There we go. Actually, 20 crafting. I didn't actually have to do dwarf cannon. I, I uh, didn't realize it was an extra 250 on top of the 2k. So we. I think we also have to do Night Sword for the smithing level, and then we can do Elemental Workshop. Yes, there it is. 10 cooking, boys. We can now make the red berry pie. Anyways, I'm on my way to pick up some iron bars in this new area here in Valamor, which effectively replaces the wilderness iron bars for me. Before then, I am gonna quickly do this quest here for 2,000 wood cutting XP, because we need wood cutting anyways for Lost City. 2,000 wood XP. Really good early quest for sure. Dang, that sends me all the way 19. Saves me some wood cutting. I can go straight to uh, Oaks, I guess. Okay, we're pretty much ready for Elemental Workshop, but we're going to work on some wood cutting first. Sick. I got 500 total, guys. That's a pretty sick milestone. Finally, 35 making. I can start actually AFK Willows. Alright, sweet. All the cutting stuff is done. I think I'm just gonna stop at 41 actually. Okay, it's the next day. I have all the wrecks for Elemental Workshop, so let's send it. Ran into a little bit of trouble, so I want to do Elemental Workshop 1 and 2, but that requires me getting like 8 pieces of coal, and unfortunately there's no easy way to do it other than getting 30 mining. So what I'm gonna do is, I will do dig site quests. So I can get pretty much to level 30 mining. But I need 10 Herbler before I can start it. But luckily, there's your standard chain of quests like the jungle potion. 2 XP to 10. Alright, I'm just going to pickpocket some hand members, I guess, real quick. I want to get a steel pickaxe anyways from there. Come on, let me clean this quorum. Hell yeah, 10 Herbler. Nice. Sweet. There we go. Look at this. 33 mining. Alright, we're going to get ourselves a fruit blast and yeah we can get one by trading in the certificate from dig site shout out mr burger there's all these little side things but it's all worth it in the end there we go elemental workshop one done hell yeah there we go this is our nice tactical iron ore coal spot with the arty cloak there it is Oh my god, wow, that got me more than 31 crafting. Yes. Sweet, now we can do Lost City. So, we're just gonna die here, because there is nettles here. 
Now all our shit is on the ground. We're gonna obviously pick up our runes though, because I still need that. Yeah, we got ourselves into a predicament. I forgot to bring a teleport out. Luckily, we have minigame teleport. So, apparently Giant's Foundry, I can just teleport here without doing anything prior. It's awesome. There we go. We're going to... Sundaris for the first time ever. Nice. Okay, time to do Fairy Tail and finally unlock Fairy Rings. There we go. Now we can do Fairy Tail. And I got some free stats. Let's go. Alright, so what are my three items? I really hope it's nothing serious. Oh, shit. Oh, Nature Talisman? Damn, that, that could be a bitch. We could be looking for this for a while, guys. Nice. Okay, that gives us nine room crafting. Okay, so we have two options. I'm probably going to try option one, which is go kill some leeches in the abyss. A little bit shady, but it's all right. And option two, if that doesn't work out, well, we go to Gardens of the Rift. All right, the scary part is going to the wilderness, so I have to be literally ready to teleport out if I see anybody right here. Because I, I got much stuff. Okay, no. We got a rune crafter, so it's fine. Alright, we're going to lose our prayer. But it's okay, because what's going to happen is I'm going to eat this Jango Berry. And we're going to get it back. This is the scary part about doing this. Okay. Alright. Now we should be safe here. There you go. Okay, I found a better spot. So I think we're good now. Oh, oh, got it. Nature Talisman. Let's go. <laughs> that was worth the gamble. I got it in less than five minutes. Let's go. Eh. But yeah, that was scary, though, setting this up. Not gonna lie. Definitely wouldn't necessarily recommend this unless you're really comfortable with your prayer flicking with just Jenga berries. Goddamn. Oh, I got it. Nice. I got the avatar. Well, it looks like this classic spot has quite a bit of adamant warriors this is the first evolution and this is the i guess the final evolution with the sarah sword nice there we go we got it nice there we go 17 farming let's go all right so at this point i should be able to use the fairing let's see yes all right cool sick we have the fairings officially unlocked Oh, awesome, awesome. Now we can finally work towards... You're not gonna believe this. Ice Trolls, because I need money. Alright, time to get the liar, because I cannot be ass getting 40 crafting and, like, what is it, flitching or whatever. Oh, I got it, yes. There we go. We got the liar nice and quick. Alright, time to do the death thing again, because you gotta be kind of pretty much naked, so... For these last few parts of the Freemanic Trials on my home telly. That's, uh, whatever. There you go. Freemanic Trials is done. <laughs> a lot of levels. 18 fishing to 30 thieving. Also, and I can do feud. Uh, feud's great because I can unlock the Ali Morrison wares. And I can sell, like, stuff like blood runes there for money. Because we do have some blood runes. 35 craft and 16 flitching. 67 combat. Yes, start it. Let's go. Fairy me to Jatizo. There we go. Ice Trolls unlocked. I'll show you uh, the usual spot for those of you guys that have not seen the strat before. Once I get my stuff back from Lumbridge. We're going to do this quest now. Before I uh, go ahead and do Ice Trolls so I can free up some inventory space. There we go. This quest is done for the feud. Now it's time to unlock... Is rune store the secret rune store by not elemental runes? Oh, there we go. We got it. General stock is unlocked. Sweet. All right, we're gonna sell all these blood runes because very unlikely I'll ever use it. There we go. That's 30k down. I'll keep it. Anyways, we're done with this. It's time to go and kill some ice trolls to make some money. I'm gonna try to get enough money for a dragon scimitar. We are now at Jatizo. So this spot of Ice Trolls is just right above 
Jatizo. And you want to go to these two rocks here, but you have to be careful because it's very aggressive. So you want to, you know, sneak, 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 sneak. Do the best that you can. All right. Okay. And there's uh, basically three guys here. Well, make that four, but usually it's three. But yeah, you just want to quickly make it to the spot and that's pretty much it. I prefer killing these small guys because same drop rates for everything. And they have like 20 less HPs. Nice 40 magic. Oh, teleport to house. Yeah. Speaking of the house. That's going to be really, really awesome to unlock. There's some stores that buy things for like almost high out value. So yeah, we're just going to sell some stuff here at the West Arty because I unlocked it. And uh, hop a few worlds to max out the potential value. And hopefully we get some nature runes later. Well, ideally, I don't even want to low out right now. Holy shit. <clears throat> nice. I just randomly got a rune kite. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can actually tag some of these guys over there. So it'll still count. Let's go! Granite shield already! Let's freaking get it! Oh! Yes! Granite shield! Let's go! That's going straight to the D skin fun. Yeah, ideally, I guess I just probably want to get a berserker helm too. Just for that strength bonus as well. So, eh, we're looking probably. I want to like at least 200k cash, I think. Oh yeah, anyways, now that I do have the teleporter house, I might as well buy a house. Uh, does it cost money though? Oh, 1,000 gold, that's fine. Hell yeah, guys, just hit 50 magic. Oh, yes, Runkai shield, let's go. A nice 53 magic. Alright, at this point, I'm probably good to leave. I think I probably have enough money now from the Runkites and whatnot. Yeah, take that mind bomb. Let's go. Drink this. Time to make some dang money. Dang, look at that. Definitely meets my money goals for today. So we're not going to stop with the money making plans at Ice Trolls. We're going to unlock another NPC. Uh, hopefully by tomorrow. Called Scurrious. is a new low level boss that came out. It drops a lot of good alkables like Runefall Helm chain body it also drops things like prayer potions and a medium clues which is also really good for us as well and it's insanely good combat training uh, for all three styles so i'll be able to get a lot of good levels while making a lot of money and whatnot and yeah all that money is going to be used for construction Ooh, hiding behind the banana tree i wonder if that works Ah, this guy thought he could hide behind a banana tree. Silly. Does this fuck me up if I... Oh, it does. Are you fucking serious? That's actually insane. <laughs> Dude, that's so troll. Even random events makes the monkey disappear. Oh, it's okay. It's not a big deal, but... I got it. I got it. Come on. Let's go. Holy shit, man. That took so long just to hit it. All right, so I'm just under the impression then that you can only store one Grigri at Zutnuk at a time. And still better than nothing. So when we finish this quest, I can drop this Grigri, save some space, and grab this Grigri from him when I need to in the future. There it is. So let's see if I pick the right one. Not a big deal if I mess up, though. So it should be all right. Ah, oh, there we go. Perfect. 60 attack, 45 defense. Beautiful. Alright. Nice. Some strength level, hit point levels. Very good. Now I can wield dragon weaponry. 45 defense. So I can now wield the Freemanic stuff. I'm going to go and get an amulet of strength from the monsters called Undead Druids. I'll show you in a second. There it is. Oof. Dragon Skimitar in the store. Yes. All right, Berserker Helm. Oh, so expensive. God dang, but it's worth. All right, I'm going to take one more detour. I'm going to do Haunted Mine for the Salve Amulet because Undead Druids, like their name suggests, is undead. 
All right, we just spent the fancy penny on Gundam ones because we cannot estimate that boss. You know, the the truest date boss. He's scary at this level, so we're gonna maximize our chances of getting it done in one go. Oh no, God, stupid cart, man. Yeah, this fight sucks. Yo, man. Got it. Nice. Yeah, it's super weak to magic, so. Some of those areas are just really hard to get to. Close distance, but yeah. Karen Bonds worked just great. A random event made me lose my monkey from Monkey Madness 2, and now it made me lose my stupid mushroom. So cursed. What the hell? All right, here we go. That's done. 60 strength as well. Awesome. Salve is also very easy to get back. So there we go. We also unlock the shortcut for next time we ever need it. All right. Getting to Zaya is going to be a little slow for a bit, but at least I have this fairy ring. One more thing before I go ahead and get the strength amulet. I'm going to go ahead and get Shazian Gloves 5. Normally, it's not worth it. Uh, but they did change the stats a while ago, so it has three string bonus. And also, Zaya Favor doesn't exist anymore. So that means I don't have to go through the whole trouble of getting Favor in order to actually do the challenge to get these gloves. I can start it right away and just fight these guys. And yeah, it should take me less than like 20 minutes or something. There it is. I got the gloves. Unfortunately, this is the only piece that gives strength. But yeah, you get three strength. That's like a max hit, basically. I'm also going to grab climbing boots, actually. I totally forgot about that. So one more thing, one more thing before we go for the strength enemy. Let's go. Give me those climbing boots, please. 12 coins. What a steal. Look at this bad boy. Boom. 74 strength bonus. Bye bye boots of lightness. All right, let's go get this strength amulet for real now. Anyways, we're here on the Druid, just uh, outside of Hosidius. We have 1 in 20 chance to get a strength amulet. These guys do melee as well, so I have to flinch them, which is a bit of a pain, but it's okay. At least there's an altar there for us. All right, this is basically the, the easiest way to flick. I just wait for it to attack, and then I click, and I step back. That's pretty much it. Oh, I got it! Image strength! Oh my god. Wow, that was so fast. Yes. I guess we could already go to Scarius. Alright, I guess we've had our fun here. It was pretty good. I got a lot of nature runes and law runes and mud runes for transportation. And, of course, all our jewelry. We got time to send some Scurrius now. Let's go. Scurrius has no quest requirements or anything like that to be able to fight it. It's also just under Varax sewers right by the entrance, so super easy to access. I've never fought this boss at a low level, but I'm going to guess the D game setup that I have right now with my gear and like base 60 melee stats should be enough to theoretically get the kill. And definitely you need some protection prayers for sure. So I do already have that. So let's find out if it's going to work out or not. But I think I'm also going to get knives too as well. But we'll do that in a second. I just want to see if I can actually get the kill. All right, let's see how this goes. Uh, good luck, us. Holy. Ah. Dude, I don't really have defense, though. So I really hope I don't mess this up. Yeah, it'll be so much easier once I get a rav weapon. Because right now, this is struggles, man. We're going to get the first kill, but it's taking so long. Holy. Dude, holy shit, these rats spawn so quick. Jesus. Oh, we got it. Oh, wow, that was not, not that easy. Dang, we got chaos runes. Okay. Definitely gonna have to do one kill trips for some time. We're gonna make knives here. Really important. Because they're going to help me clear the rat minions super fast. Because even though I only have three range, I will be able to one-shot them. I know. It's not believable, but wait till you see it. Oh, there it is. Watch, watch, watch this. Look at that. 80 XP. Oh, I'm not on rapid. Look at my range XP. Holy shit. Oh my god. I'm leveling up so fast. Oh, crap. I messed up. 
Holy shit. I just gained like three levels instantly. <laughs> it's so stupid. I'm not even supposed to be able to hit 15s, but it doesn't matter. You know, that's just the mechanic. Oh, uh, I just don't know when it's doing it. Okay, I think it's range and mage only. Okay, that was so much better. Five minute kills, but... Oh, room for home. Let's go. Already made money. It's crazy that we hit 15s. That they let me hit 15s like this. 20 range. <laughs> oh, per potion. Yo, I am gonna decant them later on when I get more and just save them, I guess. Just conserve the prayer pots. There we go. We just got 30 range. Oh, another one. Rune Foe Helm. Holy shit. The money is real. I unfortunately cannot play too much RuneScape like actively right now. Got to work on some videos and stuff. We're going to try the four sand crab spot because there is a four one. Now that our gear has gone up like crazy. I am done AFKing and I managed to get 65 attack and strength, which means Warriors Guild. Gotta get that defender. And I'm gonna trade my defense to 60 though during that grind, of course. So I can rock a Dran Defender. That'll be a massive upgrade for Scurious. Alright, now I can buy some stuff here too. Oh, this is gonna be a very popular spot for me. Mainly for the potatoes, but also for some early potions. Okay, so there's a trick here that one of the UIM homies told me about. So if I spawn this guy and just straight leave, apparently I could come back whenever I want, even after a year. Yes, let's begin. 1,000 tokens and change. So let's see how many we get. Oh, I got it finally. Oh, ho, ho, the first defender. There we go. Only took about 500 tokens. Oh, rune defender. Yes. Yes, we're basically right on rate. And we're about to be 60 defense as well. So I wonder what's going to happen, man. So we just talked to this guy. Tell him that my armor disappeared. Ah, look at that. Awesome, yeah. So this, this strategy is really nice. Oh, I got it! Yes! Shout out, Dumpster Turtle, for giving me the RNG. Oh, right before midnight, boys. Let's freaking go. 110 tokens. Goodbye, Rune Defender. You served your purpose. Pretty soon, all the money that we're going to get from Scurrius is going to be used to train construction. The uh, important levels are definitely starting off mostly in like the 30s and 40s and beyond because then i can unlock like the wardrobe room to store a bunch of clothing and whatnot but for now i want to actually start a bit of construction because i have three long bones they're taking up a lot of inventory space and i need at least 30 construction to trade them in for construction experience they're 4.5k con xp each so it's definitely worth it but yeah we do need to do a little construction right now to begin we're gonna do daddy's home for the construction levels and free supplies and after that, we will try out the mahogany homes and just learn how to do it at a low level and with very little inventory space. I think construction is going to be the, the first real challenge on the UIM. But there it is. The quest is done. Dias home is done. Let's use all these resources and some of our own to get to 26 con. <gasps> what? It gave me everything. Instantly. On the Ultimate Iron Man, you can still unnote stuff through a bank, which is really useful because noted stuff is going to be incredibly useful for minimizing your space use. So that's going to be something I need to get used to. I messed up already by accidentally unnoting all the steel bars at once. You don't actually use that many steel bars. So I will have to put all the extra ones on the table to uh, keep them from disappearing and yeah that's just something that i'm gonna have to get used to is knowing how to unnote stuff properly for different situations we are starting mahogany homes basically it's a slayer task style mini game for construction you talk to one of the npcs near a house real estate guy and they'll give you a task that you can pick i can do the lowest tier which is uh regular planks eventually we'll do oaks and teaks probably but effectively you get a lot more construction xp per plank doing this mini game which means you're saving a lot of money which means on ultimate iron man 
that's amazing because you have to get a lot less supplies pretty straightforward you just go to the house that they tell you to to repair the stuff using the logs and sometimes steel bars oh xp drop for con so good not bad already did our first contract and i already got freaking quite a bit of construction levels so this is going pretty decent look at this guys no nails needed for this shit look at this boom just like that oh my goodness so good hell yeah i love mahogany homes already and you also get a hundred percent run energy back every task insane there go 20 construction i can do oaks now the oak tasks series oh that's 25 and oh yes this is it wow that's so fast to get to 26 that was so freaking fast there you go 26 con that means i can do the quest now i think it's called getting ahead yeah this uh, requires 26 construction yep all right let's go and do this quest you know good shout from my friend spade here apparently everything for this quest can be obtained during the quest so that's awesome all right quest done oh look at that oh no 29 con okay i really wasn't doing the math but uh that's okay that's just one that's basically just one co uh construction contract mahogany homes for oaks now that i have gone 30 construction i can actually now turn in the long bones that i have in my inventory three of them from the defender grind but i do need to do death to dorgashan and all the quests before so i can unlock the dorgashan area to trade it in actually i need to buy some runes luckily ali morrison's got me covered so yeah we're just gonna stock back up on some law runes as well and yeah ali morrison such a good hot spot here this is really useful on the ultimate Iron Man. and this guy too don't forget about the gem trader. And this is how I get my gold bars real quick for uh, these jewelries, I guess. All right. This is going to be kind of annoying. I don't know about inventory space. Really important. You start the quest before you go get these two sets of clothes because the drop rates for them goes up a ton. Got it. Yes. Okay. That took like 10 minutes. Not bad. Oh, there it is. Dorgashun quest done. I'll teach you something about construction as well. Yes. Holy, holy shit. 13,500 construction XP. And I gained like 10k coins. Seven construction levels. That was so worth it. I got some uh, other things to take care of. Uh, notably 55 magic. Because I got to just AFK a bit. So I can unlock high level alchemy. And use up all these black knives as scurrious, and that should really allow us to uh, really build up that cash stack. Yes, there it is 55 magic. Now I can just alk away because I don't want to have to, what do you call it, use the uh, mind bomb all the time. Oh, that was a 22. Oh, yeah, so much better. With a defender, I'm definitely. Uh, feeling the difference let's see what kind of times we're getting on our first kc back with upgrades and potions too i'm also potted this time nice and yeah, maybe i can go for two kill trips oh my god three minute 20 seconds that time oh my god that was so good nice 39 range that's probably my favorite part about training here right now it's not even the melees Damn, 20k an hour just like throwing these knives. Oh, nice. I got perfect scores. Oh, CAs would come in handy for the benefits, I guess, in the future. So that's cool. I'm getting 40k strength an hour, including all the banking and stuff. 20, 23k range. There's just so much shit. Oh, another rune chain body. Dude, I love this boss, man. Dude, look at this inventory, man. Like, jeez, man. 60k right there. It's so good. There we go. That's how we save some inventory with these prayer pots from Scurious. They're going to come in handy for something, you know, for some big PVM. I just know it. Ooh, what did I get? Oh, I got a spirit. Oh, my God. I got it. Yo, that's so sick. Oh, my God. That's huge. Well, 
that means our scurious uh, grinding is going to go even faster. All right, we're going to buy this mace here so we can add this scurious vine. Oh, I need to go to the anvil, so be right back. Oh, I'm so confused. Like this? Oh, there we go. Ah, let's go. Less strength bonus. Like it's what? Maybe like four max hits lower, but this thing hits 10 extra damage on the Rascurious boss. So that means easily speed up my kills. So let's let's have some fun with it. There we go. I just completed a task called Sit Rat. Oh, look at that. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Wow. My first sub three minute kill. Oh. It's so freaking good. Holy. All right, here we go. Is it done? That's done. I got it. Nice. There we go. Kill all six rats back to back in one take of each other. Ooh, I got a mutant clue. Ooh, I got to try that out after. See what I get. Oh. But dudo. Here we go. Oh, nothing really good, unfortunately. Armadillo page, though. Man. Oh, all right, all right. So this this armor page is not completely useless because I can easily do the lighthouse quest and then put it in the uh, book and then I technically keep it, so it's fine. Thank you. There we go. Horror from the deep done. Yes. Oh, I got forty six range too. All right, whatever. I don't think it matters. Okay, so we got this one. Now we just talk to him and ask him for the armadillo because then we're gonna do this. Yay, put that in there. Sweet. Oh, another Scurious Spine. Oh, shit. Yay, Combat Lamp. Um, I want to put this on Prayer. Yes. Wow, that's worth. Yeah, Scurious. Extra Tails for 3.5k Prayer. Sign me the frick up. Unfortunately, our day of gaming is about to be over, but uh, we're going to be using all this money that we get from Scurious pretty much in the next episode to train the construction our goal uh long term is to get 80 construction because that means we can boost to make all the hidey holes uh hidey holes are super important because i can store a lot of gear right if i progress the account into the pvming stage i need the hidey holes to store things like for example i want to do perilous moon in the future and i can actually store the full magic blue moon set from perilous moons in a hidey hole so that's why we want to make sure we get this construction stuff sorted. So we're going to be in the construction arc for a little bit. And then after that, we're going to be doing a lot of bossing. So look forward to it. Damn, I destroyed it, man. Holy. 142. Yeah, that's how we know. That was really fast. Nice. 700k GP. Goddamn.